I've been making art since I was a small child. I've always been interested in um, the landscape and light and color and, and sort of um, ways of expressing or recording what I saw. And it seemed really natural growing up on the coast near the water and in an area of um, the re or a region that basically identifies art with the landscape. Um, there were uh, lots of watercolor societies and ways in which you know uh, an individual or a child could sort of engage um, in painting and drawing. So that seemed like a really natural uh, outgrowth of where I'm you know where I'm from on the coast. My whole world changed when Hurricane Camille hit. It wiped away everything. It took our home. It sort of changed the way we were. And I think that kind of seminal event, this sort of you know, destruction, you know, sort of destruction of home, probably really hit deeply for me. And I believe that probably being a you know an artist or you know sort of looking to the landscape for um, solace and comfort and beauty and um, just all the things that we use the landscape for just came really naturally to me. So being able to express with color and light and paint was what I did. When I started working with this notion of Oasis, I, I believe that there was some kind of want. I wanted to have a, a happier landscape, whatever that meant. I mean, I wanted to see something hopeful. I wanted to see something that was about regeneration or regrowth or, you know, something that was more positive than just, you know, you know, the mark of devastation, you know, the clarity of, oh, here's this event, you know, who lost in this case? Did the landscape lose or did we lose? I don't approach it with the end result. If I did that, it would sort of, it would already be something that's a truth that I've answered. And in a way, I'm sort of, I'm saying that it's this tripart relationship, it's this time, it's the experience, it's the emotion, you know, in the way I am often approaching my work, it's through perception, memory, you know, experience. And so often the result is this, you know, undefinable silence. But I don't think that if I approach my work in the way of saying, oh, I'm going to create this painting, it's going to really, you know, it's really going to dig deep. And people, if you gaze at it long enough, you're going to, you know, you're going to experience this moment. But ultimately, that's what I'm doing. You know, just through the process of the painting, I mean, I've already experienced what I'm after. And it's often my not being able to answer it in words or in um, ideas or theories, but I can do it in paint because it's an image and it's an experience. And I've got the, um, the skill to execute it. And then in some way, I believe that by standing in front of the canvas making the work, that I will arrive at some kind of truth. One of the things that is really present in my work is that I use the photograph as a source. It's usually something that I've, you know, I found some tiny little photograph or some, you know, some snapshot or something that I really want to um, record or look deeply at. And that's, you know, kind of the impetus often of the work I do. So this started this, this uh, tendency that I have to really um, find in a photograph where a painting might begin, sort of the genesis of it. And that's always followed through with my work. I often, um, even though I might have some sense of how the work um, should sort of be shaped or what themes or ideas might be coming forward in, in um, any particular way of painting, I still sort of seek out images. And those images are in the form of photographs. And those photographs might be my own photograph or a media image or something that, um, again, just is a fixed image that somehow is familiar. And then I kind of try to ferret out what that familiar is. The palm tree is a symbol of um, sort of hope and um, resurrection. It's not a religious symbol, but it's a, it's a notion of um, how we read symbols. So spontaneously, I would be um, sort of ex aware of uh, the palm tree as something that is hopeful and good and you know the presence of water might you know, be there so it's symbolic of uh, a resurgent landscape. These aren't just paintings of the landscape. They're, they're meant to be thought about, they're meant to be looked at, they're meant to be experienced. 